Greetings, I am Lies. And I am Scandal. And let's, let's play, play a game, game together. together. Yes. All right. So we are we are trying to figure out um, the experience here. We are concerned that Splat or our MC, who has been basically a social train wreck of sort of aggression and demand, uh, is talking their very own experience this whole time, is not, not being as sensitive to Sayori's experience or as aware as somebody else who was less trenched in their own experience could be. Right. And, uh... So here we go. Here we go! You understand, alright? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, like, uh, excuse me, I am not, like, the bombshell of suck, okay? <laughs> like, it would be hard. I am filled with bold, after all, look at me. I am beautiful. I am magnificent. People want to be me. I am going to be in a college course. Watch me. But I am trying my hardest! It's, uh... Okay, don't worry too much about it. Uh, I'll uh, see you tomorrow, okay? All right. God, you're so freaking taxing. I look forward to it. You have to specifically remember that. And I have to remember that. I say goodbye to Sayori and I said her house on the way home. I still find myself feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Natsuki is about to come over, too. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much. We're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. Sayori uh, loves that kind of shit. Oh, uh, God. Sayori will love it. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. Yes, brilliant. Which is me. Mm -hmm. More of me. Hang on. This looks like Sayori's house again. I, I, Are our houses identical in every way? Yes, clearly. I mean, you know, it's a suburban area. Uh, all of them cookie cutter houses. On the other hand, these two next to each other look different. Mm -hmm. So we're like, your and Sayori's, sorry, Ori's house are identical. We're, we're doing the Tim Burton normative stuff. That's what uh, we're doing. We all live in Tim Burton land, and this is what we live in. Okay, it's fine. okay. I spend only a few minutes back at home, anxiously awaiting Natsuki's arrival. Before I know it, she texts me to let me know that she's outside the front door. Without delay, I open the front door to let her in. So she just came through the gate? Yes. Like, good thing. She's totally confident. I just kick the gate open, walk up to the front door, <laughs> knock, knock, knock. Hello! I... Oh, okay. that's adorable. She looks so cute. Now, why didn't you change your hair? I don't know. Because, like, we we can we can sort of, like... Because she's an anime character and we're keeping a convention. It's okay. Because <sighs> I've seen anime characters change clothing, but they don't change their hair. Because otherwise you fucking... Otherwise some... you can't recognize them. And I love that, actually, sometimes where I have watched an anime before uh -huh. and been like, wait, who's that? Because uh, <laughs> they changed their Right, because they changed something. And the thing is, is there are anime where they change their hair or their clothes, but usually it's called um, it's called out really hard, like it's made clear. Oh this yeah, this is what's happening. But I mean, like even in simpler ones, like Aura and High School, Hara, uh, High School Host Club, mm -hmm. um, like your protag, um, Haragi. Haragi changes their hair a lot. Yeah, like quite a bit. Mm, it's true. And um, but on the other hand, it's clearly marked, so you know who they are in each scene. And since we know only Sayori is coming, or not Sayori, only Natsuki is coming over. And Natsuki's the only one with short pink hair. They could have just changed her hair. Wow, you look like a preschooler. Hi. Sup? <laughs> Whoa, what a greeting. Hey! Adorable! I... Hello, kawaii desu desne! I'm gonna open weep! All right, I don't know what I was expecting, but seeing Natsuki in something other than her school uniform totally threw me off. Seeing her in such cute clothes makes the uniform seem totally unfitting in comparison. I love uh, the fact that she's able to wear a white shirt with a black bra, and the black bra does not show through. I am proud of that you. That is like quality white shirt. Just from someone who wears a bra, that is a quality white shirt, okay? That is actually a good point, and I love you for pointing that out. Like, that, that, that little, little just put a pin in it. That's amazing. All right. Jeez, don't make it feel so awkward already. It's going to be a long afternoon, so don't be weird just because you're not used to seeing me outside of school. Hey, Natsuki, where's your wagon full of ingredients, or did you forget them? Huh? No, no, they're in my arms. They're uh, they're actually in the back of the little, like, like I've we got all have fanny packs. My fanny Boom. pack. I've got 40 pounds of flour and sugar in my fanny pack. Yep, we got it. Anyway, I'm coming in. Where's I... your stuff? Oh, my God. Like. This is so. Also, like. Splat didn't mention the stuff like, wow, that's going to be a lot of cupcakes, which have been right up their alley. Right. Like, that is a lot of ingredients. It's because they're trying to move it forward. It's okay. okay. I, I see you brought a lot of stuff. Splat, your kitchen is really pretty. Wow. Like, I guess damn. I was like, damn, whoa. 
Natsuki is carrying a large bag that is probably full of baking supplies. Well, I didn't want to come all this way just to find out your kitchen isn't equipped for the job. Toaster oven. Everything in the toaster oven. <laughs> I was about to say, so you have a mixer, you have a toaster oven, you so have an oven. oven. You're going to hand mix, right? Because, like, I do not have an electric mixer, so everything hand mixed, right? I assume you have a whisk. What's a whisk? What's a... Is a that what? a drug? Like, do you have a whisk? I... No, my hair's fine. Oh. I... No, it's beautiful. Excuse you? I... You bought everything I asked you to, right? Yeah, I did. What? We're suggesting that during those texts that we actually mentioned that no, we were no. responsible for something? Yesterday, Natsuki asked me to buy a bunch of ingredients. If I didn't already have them at home. So that's what we did with our Saturdays. We uh, went shopping. We went shopping. All right. Which I would have liked to know earlier, but eh, it's fine. It's okay. I, I also feel like there should be a level of, I had to go shopping for things that I am unaccustomed to. Uh, what why? is the difference between baking soda and baking powder? It's just baking. Baking. Stop. Good. Glad I could count on you to do your part. Well, of course. I am offended. Uh. I am surprised to hear Natsuki suddenly say that, rather than something snarky like she usually does. Like, what? Could it be that she's a little different outside of school after all? That wasn't snarky? I have no idea. I can't tell. <laughs> it's hard to tell. No, the little, like, the little, like, um, mischievous tooth, too. Right. I'm just like, I, are you being playful? What? Anyway, let's go to the kitchen. Oh, look, we are in the kitchen. All right, what? let us go to the place that we are in. Yes. Hi. What? You're not even going to offer to take this heavy bag from me? Where's your hospitality, Splat? Okay, so if they can animate a bottle of, of apple juice... They could they animate a bag. a bag. She could have been holding a bag. Yeah, they just wanted to make sure you saw her being cute. Yeah, pretty much. Like, it could have been any kind. It could have even been, like, a bag that she has in her hand. Like, one of those, like, reusable shopping bags or, like, one of those cloth Ooh, trendy bags. Yeah, that'd be great. So they could have just put a strap in her hand kind of thing right. to imply bag. It would have required very um, little illustration. On. Since when did I need to be a gentle them? Gentle thems. <sighs> Vadies and gentle, gentle thems. I love thadies and gentle thems. It's very cute. It's very cute. It's... I I grab the bag Natsuki holds out to me. Gif. Oh my god! <laughs> this is ridiculously heavy! What did you put in there? A whole oven? Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a bag I of I carried holding. that all the way here. I, you are a marshmallow compared to me. I have arms of steel. Yes. But that is not my priorities. Whoa. Oh my god. I don't want fat arms. Natsuki. What? what? You know, I... bulky, sort of like Biggie. bulgy. You know, Bul I don't like, like the fined muscles. Yeah, bulge. Bulge. Natsuki. Oh, excuse Jesus me. Christ. What is wrong with you? Are you impressed? I see now. Yeah, I am impressed, Janatsuki. Seems like I always underestimate you because you are about this big and you barely come to my knee. I'm like, if I was standing over you like I was Sayori, you'd be like at my shin. Oh. <laughs> it's because I'm so small, isn't it? Uh, I, I have been that person. You jerk! <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki hits a fist into my chest. Uh. Hey! 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 Get out of my body! Okay. Out of my body! My, my, my blab... My slabs. You do not. You do not go into the blob that is flat. Thank yes. you. you Your not... size has nothing to do with it. It has everything <laughs> to do with the fact that, that I, I am you. a misogynist, and I think that because people say so, girls must be weak. Yes, clearly. I have read lots Fox of manga. News. <laughs> I have also read many manga where girls can't carry and hold things, and At that all. is that, so. That is true. Yes. Clearly. Um, it's just that you're a girl. Your size doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. You're just weak. Your mm. size has nothing to do with it. Do you really hate being small that much? Huh? Um, it's not like I hate it. I hate people's reactions to it. I feel you. I mean, sometimes I like proving people wrong when they only think I'm worth my size. Mood! <sighs> Mood! Jesus Christ, I cannot tell you how many jobs where I got people just being like, well, you know, you're good. Wow, you're really good at that for whatever, basically. You Qualifier know, I want to stick on. Yeah, it's really goddamn annoying. I've gotten the, wow, for a girl, you're really strong a lot. And I'm like, okay, so does that mean, how does that compare to for a person? How about for people? For people. Because all I know is that I'm outdoing you and your friends still. Mm. Thank you. I <clears throat> It's fun when I get to be small and also better than other people. Makes I don't me feel mind. More 
capable and above everyone else. <laughs> but... <sighs> Jeez, never mind. What are you making me say? Don't think you can make me talk about weird things just because we're not at school. Are we getting started or what? There's l a lot of stuff I have to gotta teach you. Aha! Aha! What? That's a little bit more like you. Oh. There's the batch I was expecting. Yes. You're more fun when you speak your mind like that. I like it. Hit me. Uh, hit, like, hey! Don't touch me, but verbal abuse is fine. Now you are treating me like a kid? I was just trying to be a little nicer to you, you know? And just because I don't have a mature and sexy figure like Yuri doesn't mean you should treat me like... Uh, 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 so, nuts. did you slip a little bit there? You know, you think Yuri's got a mature, sexy figure, do you? Have Has that been something you've been thinking about a lot? A lot. Like, either in comparison or just in awareness, or a little of both. Honestly, if she is going to be the tomboy lesbian type, I am into it. Ah. Like, that's really cute. And honestly, I'm really tired of people being like, no, you're just a tomboy. Like, I've watched plenty of people get that, and uh, I definitely got that when I was younger, but I don't identify as a woman, so... But, uh, but uh. it was just a thing that would be really frustrating, and they would be like, oh, well, that makes sense. You're a lesbian lesbian you know and then i'm being like oh no no tomboys are still okay they're still girls they still like men right. and i'm like uh, just just be a tomboy and like girls and don't have you things can have, that are always about guys you like, can have both either any you can pick who you are it it's doesn't fine. matter like we actually both of us knew um somebody who very strongly basically uh looked very socially uh basically what you'd term to be butch extremely but it was butch. extremely butch um and they were as far as i knew incredibly straight and were in and basically married and in love with their high school sweetheart and it was very cute and yeah. i was like that's fantastic like you really shouldn't judge i actually talked to her a couple of times um in reference to a girl scout troop that i was a part of and uh she was just like i get called a dyke all the time and i am probably the straightest girl i know yeah <laughs> and it was just like i'm sorry but she and her husband had a great time and they were fine so it was whatever right well and the other thing though that i also will say is that i personally also don't like the idea of going no no but it's okay you can be that thing and you can be straight and it's kind of like you don't need permission yeah and it gets annoying to me though where people are like no no but you will inevitably always end up being straight though it's kind of that thing being like yeah yeah be who you are but you're always inevitably going yeah i don't know there's a weird kind of insidious language that always gets around it and it bugs me like with tomboy being like no no but you ended up being you know of course but of course it's, it's that thing of going there's there's a lot of like there's a lot of girl attraction erasure yes and a lot of heteronormative sort of like a glossing over yes that makes people just not even understand their own feelings for a long time yes god it's confusing all right natsuki sneezes <laughs> bless you uh, do you have a whisk gazoon height i no a wit <sighs> natsuki <laughs> catches her words and her face turns red natsuki have you been forget it Yuri? oh my god i didn't say anything I should apologize. Huh? I appreciate that you were trying to be nicer. You failed, okay? but you tried. I should have been a little more considerate, too. But also, if that's what you're thinking, then you should know that there are tons of guys who are into body types like yours. God, they're all over anime. If like... this is actually what I think it is, I will, like... I don't even know. I would just be like, developers, you are fucking amazing. Because this is, this is really what happens. Mm. You know, I was going, she's really hot, she's really sexy, and I can't stop looking at Yuri, and I have all this conflict with Yuri because they actually really like Yuri. I am attracted to Yuri. Like, I'm not kidding. I'm so excited about this right now. I'm like, this is a good... To me, like, we have, we were actually kind of talking briefly about going the subversion with... Um, Sayori. Sayori is really like, none of this has to do with the main character. It's they nice. want to be your friend, mm -hmm. but they don't at all feel like they are basically having to be uh, uh, there for you. Right. They, they have other things that they do. I like that. Like, damn it. Good job. Like, anyway. if that's what they do, I will be supportive. Like, I am that's... irritated that Splat is going the direction of, yeah, there's tons of people that like your body type. So, you tons know. Tons of guys. Tons specifically. of guys, specifically. Right? So, you shouldn't feel, like, you know, unattractive. Uh, how would you know that, anyway? Oh, guys think they can talk to me. Uh, just, just trust me. People talk to me, honey. Also, uh... since... Since the um, anime and the manga that I read are directed towards, you know, them and I is. understand that since your body type is in there all the time, yeah. that it means that it is appealing to them and. Yeah, clearly, and that's the only point. Gross. Hey! Was that to me? Who else? 
And let's just get started already. <laughs> you get all sour when girls call you gross, but guess what? You kind of are. <laughs> kind of gross. I finally found your weakness, Flat. Natsuki smiles deviously, and I kind of want to punch her. Please spare me. Fortunately, <gasps> my other weakness that you have already found, you have not noticed that you found, which is that I am very no touchy. Yes. No touchy, none. None. None, none. for you, okay? Well, if Natsuki decides to dish out more insults like that, there's no way I'm not fighting back. Target acquired. Mm. But she's satisfied enough for now, finally starting to pull things out of her bag so we can get started. Mm -hmm. I Honestly, have to say... There, we just got a comment from Drekonishi that's so cute. Oh. Where it's like, forget playing, and I don't remember what game um, they referenced, but like basically difficult games with strategy. Trying to play basically a, 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 a love interest that's not interested in romance in a romance game, that's challenging gameplay. Yes! It was adorable and I loved it. It's so good. <laughs> but honestly, like again, I'm like, this. I'm like, I, I'm actually genuinely excited. Uh -huh. Going, we're going to take away all the attention, going, yeah, okay, we're involving you. But we're not interested in you at all in the way that you think, and I love that. And or we're all going to discover that we're into something else. There's, there's, a, there's a lot of interesting possibilities here suddenly. Yes. All right. Before long, the whole kitchen is a mess. Everything. Spoons, dirty balls, flour, spilled fluid, Whoa. and plastic bags are strewn about every countertop. Okay, spilled fluid just makes me go, what goes into cupcakes? Hey, what is the liquids that are in there? Like, I can't say spilled oil. Eat. I can't say spilled water or milk. I don't... Fluid. It's fluid. Fluid. I've, like, spilled it's fluid. It's because it's it's multiple things. The mixer isn't big enough to make me hiccup. To make all the <laughs> batter at once. So we've had to do it several times. I added a little bit of special sauce in there, if you know what I mean. Mark Meanwhile, the Fluid. Oh, dear. Yeah, fluid. Whoa. I know where the liquor cabinet is. Oh my god. Meanwhile, Natsuki is babysitting all of my movements to make sure I don't mess up her precious bacon. Splat, where did you put the food coloring? The batter is going in the oven soon, so I need to feel the trays. I think it's still in the bag next to that table. What are you using it for, anyway? To color the batter, of course. Why would you put in ingredients that color the batter? I'm making each tray a different color. That's adorable. Yeah. yeah. But it's also like... a fuck time. It's also like, I don't really like the taste of food coloring. Oh. And when you have food coloring in your batter and in your frosting, mm. mostly the cupcakes just taste like food coloring to so me. So that is a thing that I have realized over the years, that that is what I was tasting as I was younger. I helped my friend understand the flavor of food coloring. Yes! And I hate it. There's this weird, like, it's almost like like a pasty, pastel-y, like, chalk, like, weird... It's a very specific flavor. And once you know what it is you're tasting, yeah. for the most part, people can... And pick it out everywhere and I have ruined several people's lives by giving get the food coloring flavor and they're like the what and then I'll help them understand what one piece of the flavor profile is or just get some food coloring and allow them to taste it like diluted like only slightly diluted in something right and then they're just like oh my god and that's there's part of the nostalgia for a lot of people going the food coloring flavor is part of what I'm used to being there right but it's like I've never been a fan of food coloring things and things like um uh like what is it like the, the red velvet cake right so when I finally learned what red velvet cake was I realized why I didn't have never liked it because I didn't know there was like four cups of food coloring in it yeah and that's you guys it's chocolate cake Dyed with red. D just dyed red. So, um, like, imagine how much dye you need to use to get, like, black hair or really dark brown hair to turn red. Right. And the thing is also, on top of that, um, I actually learned that original dark chocolate, uh, uh, the, the, the red velvet cake, was actually made by using beet juice. Uh-huh. So... We've shifted where now we t use a lot less of that, but it's now there's this weird plasticky, tingy taste to it that if you don't realize what it is, you're just eating food coloring. Which is a lot of food coloring. Which is and so I disappointing. But she wants to color things, but like, I don't know, I just, I, I'm just going blah, 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 food I know, it's so blah, much better. Blah, 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 blah. I'm making each tray a different color. That way, even if the flavors aren't different, everyone can still pick their favorite. Ah, that's a cute idea. Are we doing you know anything what? like that with the icing? You know what has disappointed me? Okay, mm. as someone who loves rainbow sherbet, right? Right. Who has, who has really loved it throughout their life. Occasionally there are places that don't have rainbow sherbet, but they have rainbow ice cream, right? Right. And I always think that it's going to be good, but about 50% of the time if I'm at an ice cream parlor in the few times, like in the, in the you know, times of my life that I have been, because that's an expensive treat. Oh, God, um, yeah. For me. Uh, I was going <laughs> to say, there's this experience of sometimes they don't have any other flavors in there. It's just colors. Right. And there was one time when 
and I went on this family vacation. We went to this ice cream parlor and they had one that was called like, it was like rainbow explosion or something like that. You know, like the, the, the kid appeal ice cream. And I went, ooh, I want that. And I started eating it and I was like, what? is this because it tasted mostly like food coloring and then was relatively simple in its flavor profile after that i'm like it's almost like vanilla ice cream they said oh yeah it's totally vanilla ice cream we make it for the kids because you don't have to put any other flavors in it for them to love it they just like the colors and i'm like oh Ew. my god you literally just swirled colors into vanilla ice cream i was looking for a flavor experience and now what i have is many different food coloring flavors you all right well thank you very much guys then for Blech. joining us we're gonna deal more with the icing in the next one so if you like we do please feel free to like comment subscribe and also share our videos if you're having a good time with us please feel free to go check out our ko-fi or patreon got the links in the description down below and i have been scandal and i've been lies and, and it, it was, was great playing with you bye, bye.